Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 no. Don't even try to scream. Yes, I have a knife. I know you can't bring a knife to school. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. I thought so. I saw you hanging out with another boy in class. You both seem really close. Are you both going out? Well, now you aren't. You're going to call him and you're going to tell him you don't want to be with him anymore. Do you understand? Ha. <laughs> you're really going to try me when I'm holding a knife to your throat? I didn't think so. Call them. Now. Oh, you're crying. You better stop crying before I make you stop. <laughs> Seeing you scared just makes me like you even more. Anyway, when the bell rings... We'll join the waves of people going out of school. But we'll need to go back to the back exit so we don't come across you know who. And you will not ask anyone for help. Understood? Unless you really want me to use this, then feel free to scream or ask anyone for help. Okay. Come with me. Go left. Here. Now that we're finally out. <clears throat> You're finally awake. I was worried I hit you a little too hard. Don't try to move. Don't you see? You're tied up. Hmm. I think I'll take the gag out of your mouth so I can hear that precious voice. And don't even try to scream. Or you won't wake up. Okay? Where are you? You're in my basement. I won't get away with this? Your friends will look for you. Oh, don't worry, darling. I'm already one step ahead of you. You see, while you were asleep, I took quite a few pictures. I can easily turn this situation around. Looks like someone kidnapped a certain guy. Myself. I could just send all these out anonymously and your life would be ruined. So if you try anything funny in school, just remember, you're in my hands now. <laughs> oh, you're crying again. I wouldn't want to put these precious tears to waste. Here, let me... Your tears, they taste really good. Maybe I should make you cry more often. Huh. <clears throat> Enough of the admiration. We have to set some ground rules, big guy. Rule number one, you don't talk to anyone in school besides me. Number two, you don't tell anyone about our relationship. Three, you don't tell anyone what happened this day. Four is that you will follow all of my commands. Fifth and final rule is you'll only love me and only me. Do you understand these rules? I'm sure I don't have to explain what happens if you break any of them. Good, I'm glad we're on the same page. You must be hungry. I'm gonna go pick up some food. What's your favorite thing to eat? Want me to make anything? I'll take that as a no. Here's your food. Well, you can't really eat it all by yourself since you're tied to that chair. 
So I'll feed you. Here. Say, ah. Uh, ah! You, you spat your food on me. You ungrateful little brat. Here, I was trying to be nice, and you just waste your food like that? Fine. You don't get any food or water. Even in school, you don't get to eat and drink anything. I'll be keeping an eye on you. <sighs> I think you sleeping in that chair for the rest of the night will serve as good punishment. <laughs> Here's your gag. Good night, lovely. <laughs> <laughs>